Hi there, this is Miss Caitlin from Fibo Kids Art Academy, and I'm here to tell you about our Around the World series. Now, we are going to be visiting the continent of South America, and I wanted to share with you just a little example project of some of the things that we're going to be doing and some things that we'll learn about. Now, we are going to be creating this incredible project of a tortoise from the Galapagos Islands in Ecuador. So let's go ahead and take a look at my desk, and I can show you what you're going to need to create this project. All right. So here's my desk. Here's our little example project today. When we do our Around the World series, we'll usually talk a bit about the country. We'll talk a bit about the flag and some important landmarks or maybe some really incredible animals that live there. In this case, we're going to talk about these beautiful, very old tortoises that live on the Galapagos Islands. Now, I'm not going to do every single step with you today. This is just an example, but I am going to show you how to draw the turtle from, or rather the tortoise from start to finish. So if you want to color things in today, after you're done drawing the tortoise with me, you're going to need some watercolor. And I also used some permanent markers uh, just so that, you know, when you go over things with the watercolor, it doesn't smudge away. However, you could just outline everything with a Sharpie, a regular old Sharpie or permanent marker is fine. But if you want to get a little fancy with it, some different color permanent markers will do you good. Now, since I am creating this for the purpose of coloring it in with watercolor, uh, I did this on a piece of watercolor paper. Now, if you are going to be using different materials to fill in your tortoise later, you can just do this on any kind of paper you want. But if you are going to paint and if you are going to do watercolor, I recommend watercolor paper or some kind of thick paper. As well, you're going to need your trusty pencil and eraser. So let's go ahead and get started on how to draw this Galapagos tortoise. Okay. So the Galapagos Islands are, and I always have trouble saying this word for some reason, an archipelago, which is a group or kind of a chain of islands. Now, sometimes we'll call things an archipelago if, um, if it's not just a chain, if it's just kind of a grouping of islands, and that's what these islands are. They're also volcanic in nature, so they sprout out from the ocean because of volcanic activity. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to draw from start to finish here. Make sure that your paper is turned horizontal side to side, and you might notice that I am using a Sharpie, uh, and that's because I wanna make sure that you're able to see my lines. So you use your pencil, but I'm gonna use a Sharpie so that you can see. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna draw the shell of this tortoise first. Now, Galapagos tortoises are known for being enormous. Some of them can weigh up to 500 pounds, and they can live for over hundreds of years, or rather over 100 years. So for this, I want us to go to the center of our paper, and the first shape that I want you to draw is a big curved line like this. This is going to be the back of the turtle shell, or the tortoise shell. Now the thing about the Galapagos uh, tortoises and the species that kind of live on there, especially you can see it in the different tortoises and turtles, is that they all are the same, like they are Galapagos tortoises and turtles, but they each have something that's a little bit different to kind of help them survive on any of the islands they happen to be on. All right, so go ahead and take your pencil and we're now gonna draw a big U shape around. It almost kind of looks like a, kind of looks like a lemon, what we've made here. Now, of course, we can get a little bit more fancy with how this is going to look. You could take your pencil and we can add in some bumps on the turtle's uh, shell, but we'll do that kind of at the end. Let's go ahead and draw the head and the neck for this Galapagos turtle. Now, depending on the turtle or the tortoise, some of them have a little bit longer neck so that they can reach up and grab, you know, some more leaves or just more food in higher places. Some of them have shorter necks, though. I want you to go right about here on this left side of your shell, and you're going to draw a curved line up. Now their heads are actually quite flat on the top, so you're just going to take your pencil and draw a diagonal line out. You're going to draw a curved line down, and we're going to draw a little smile for our tortoise right here. So you can just draw a little smile. All right, I go underneath, we're gonna draw the chin, and you're just gonna draw a short line down from the mouth, and a curved line in, and there you have the chin. If you want to draw an eye right now, go for it. And by the way, if you need to pause the video so that you can just see everything the way that you need to, that's fine, go at your own pace. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and draw the front of the neck. You're gonna take your pencil, go right underneath your uh, jaw line there, Draw a curved line down, almost like a, 
like backwards J. All right, so we have a pretty good start to our tortoise here. We're gonna go ahead and draw the front legs. To do this, I want you to start again right at the side of your shell, right about here, and I want you to draw a curved line out. Now we want these curved lines to be quite big. Um, a lot of these tortoises have these huge sort of legs, and it's to help them withstand the weight of their shell. Now, their shells are actually not solid. The inside is kind of like a honeycomb structure. Think of like, you know, like the honeycombs you see on a beehive. So a lot of it has like little air pockets and that makes the shell a little bit lighter and just easier to carry for the turtle. All right, now I want you to go just underneath your shell right here. And we're gonna draw a really similar curved line like we did before. And then you're gonna connect with a U shape. Okay, that's foot number one. Let's draw the other. So we're gonna see a little bit of the other front leg kind of coming out. So go right about here on your neck, draw a curved line out, draw a U-shape back. All right, we're almost there. We're gonna go ahead and draw one of the back legs. So you're gonna head right underneath your shell on the uh, right-hand side here. And you're just gonna draw a curved line down, curved line down, and you can end that off with a U-shape. And then right here, we're actually gonna draw the rest of the shell. So we have the large part of the shell that's on top, and then we have the part that's on the bottom. So it really looks like the turtle is kind of, you know, enclosed in the shell. So all you're gonna do is go right about here on your back leg to start, draw a horizontal line, and then curve upwards, because again, it's kind of curving upwards towards the turtle. Okay. Now from here, you can feel free to add a couple of details to really make this turtle look, or really make this tor tortoise look a little bit more realistic. So to do this, you could go on top of your shell, you could draw just a few bumpy lines. Now I can't erase obviously because I've worked in Sharpie, but any of those extra lines from before, you can just erase and you wanna keep the lumps. A lot of the pictures of Galapagos tortoises, if you look at them, a lot of them have really smooth shells, but some of them have kind of bumpy shells. And then you can start to kind of decorate the inside. I find the easiest way to sort of decorate the inside of a turtle shell is I want to make a couple of wavy lines. So I'm going to make a wavy line maybe here and a wavy line down here. And then you can kind of divide the waves into pieces like this. And you can feel free to add, you know, decorations on the inside. You can also add the toes for the tortoise. Now, the tortoises, their feet, their front feet, they kind of turn inwards. So you're not gonna see all of their little toes unless you can see it kind of facing inwards. For this one, we're not gonna see all the toes. For their back legs, you are gonna see quite a few of the toes if they're just standing normally. All right, now you can feel free to decorate how you like and keep working on that. You can even look up some pictures of actual Galapagos tortoises and draw any texture that you see. They have these really beautiful sort of like, almost like scales, not quite like scales, but like scales on their um, front legs. I think they're really cool. But we want our Galapagos tortoises to be at the beach today. They love to be out in the sun because um, they're cold blooded animals. So they have to, you know, get warmth from the sun. Let's go ahead and draw a horizon line for where the end of the ocean would be, where the sky would begin. So go right about here. I'd say, you know, midway on your turtle's neck, just draw a horizontal line out. You can kind of follow with your eyes over to the right side of your shell, draw a horizon line out there. And then we wanna show the waves kind of coming in on the beach. So you can draw a wavy line and a wavy line. Now you can decide what time of day you want it to be, but remember Galapagos tortoises, they're usually more active during the day and they're trying to get as much sunlight as they can. So we wanna make this maybe, it's the morning, like our tortoise just woke up and it's so happy to start the day and get some warm, warm sun on this tropical island. So first off, I'm gonna draw some clouds in the sky. If you wanna draw clouds like me, I'm just drawing rainbow shapes kind of over and over and over again. And they're, they almost look like they're resting on the horizon line. Of course they're not, clouds are in the sky, but because of how far they, away they are, they almost look like they're resting. 
and then maybe the sun is peeking out from the clouds. You basically just draw a big curved line or pretend like you're drawing a circle. Now go ahead and fill, or rather outline everything, and your picture will look something kind of like this. I'll show you without those eraser marks or those pretend eraser marks what mine looks like, and also what it looks like once I have everything outlined in different colored permanent markers. From here, you can go ahead and fill everything in. If you want to include the Galapagos Islands, like the name at the bottom, you can. So I'm gonna leave this here just so that you can see what my picture looks like and you can use it as a reference as you continue to color in your picture. All right, so that just about does it for our project. Remember, if you are using something like watercolors or something messy, be sure to clean up your space at the very end of the project. All right, I hope you had a lot of fun. I'd love to see your projects when you're done with them. So you can share them on Fibo Village once you are a member on there. And I hope to see you in and around the world class very soon. Bye for now.